This is Dave at Russo's RV Center. Today we're going to look at the 2021.5 GeoPro 19 FBS. This has been the hottest floor plan at Russo's RV for two years in a row. Just behind this one was the 19 FD and the 20 BHS Geo. The Geos have really been um, the story of the last couple of years here. So I'd like to take you through the outside, then we'll go on the inside, and then the roof. And finally, I'm just gonna close the slide room so you can see what it looks like when the slide room's closed. Very common question I get. Um, what's it like when I'm traveling and I need to get around with the slide room closed? So we're gonna check that out. I'm also gonna point out some of the new features, um, some things that have become standard features where they were options last year, and then some of the new things for uh, the 2021 and a half that Rockwood's coming out with. So th this Geo, as you see it, this is November of 2020 right now. This Geo should stay the same in terms of um, interior color, standard features, right through the middle of 2021. Should not be any different. If you order one now, if you order one in January, February, although I'd encourage you to order as soon as possible because they are taking a little while. Um, more like three to four months in a lot of cases, and that is assuming no supply chain issues. Hopefully that is not the case. So um, yeah, let's take a look. You notice right away that it has the front bike carrier. That is an option that holds two bikes. The front power jack is standard. 220 pound bottles, a battery box that fits two batteries. I have the docking lights on right now. Not, doesn't look like much in the daytime, but they look great at night. Of course, magnet latches, always love those magnet latches. When we get to the other side, pasture storage. When I get through the other side, I just wanna talk about the new, um, the new locks on the compartments. Gas electric water heater, standard, all your water hookups, city water, um, potable water fill, cable satellite hookups, and your winterization inlet. Easy access to your black and gray valves and uh, to hook up your sewer line. So one thing that has become standard and the 21, 2021s and a half, 21, 2021.5s is the off-road package. It was an option last year. They've just gone standard. So many people have ordered them. They are now standard. And now, I should say now, because it's always been this way, you have the holder for the sewer, uh, sewer hose. So because geos don't come with bumpers, they offer that as a solution for storage. Outside shower, very, the all important black tank flush. Anyone who's ever owned an RV knows how wonderful it is to have that. Ladder is standard and it is a walkable roof. Later on, I'm gonna be going up. I'm just gonna show you the new air conditioner. More ride steps. Now they made a slight change on these steps. When I go in, I'm just gonna point it out to you. It's little, but it actually is very convenient what they did. You have the self-closing door. Not a big deal, but it's a nice little feature. I like that. It will come with a griddle that will mount here along with its side table. Now this cabinet has the sticker. This is showing the key alike system. So before, basically all RVs, at least the ones we carry, the Rockwoods certainly, came with the 751 key. 751 key, that's pretty much everybody who has an RV has that key. And that meant that your compartment doors weren't very secure, but what Rockwood has done is they have made this a standard build the key alike system. So the same key that opens your entry door, which is a unique key to you, 
is the same key that's gonna open up all your locks. It is a master key, so dealers like us can get in and out with our master key, but regular people are not just walking around with master keys. So you will have a much more secure lock for your compartments. Okay. So I mentioned the steps. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. My assistant is off today. So I want to show you this. Last year there were pins. There were pins that went into these slots and then you'd have to take the pin out, adjust the leg, and then um, just keep doing it until you got uh, even footing. But this year, all they've done is they've made this. So you just press that in. See what just happened there? See how that leg just came in? So when I bring this down and then I'd press that, that leg would drop too. That's what clicks into place. So I don't have to take a pin in and out every time. I just push that. So you unlock. A little tricky with one hand. They're not really making them for one hand, but I wanna see if we can do this. I think we can do this. So I'm just gonna grab the foot and actually just pull it, pull it down until it stops. And actually that's it. And now it's locked into place. Once it gets to that point, step down, it's solid. That is way easier than last year. Taking the pins out, you can lose the pins. Sometimes the pins didn't line up very well. So just a really great, another little thing that comes together to make this a great trailer. So on this one with the options, we are at 3347 for a dry weight. So when you look in the book, it's going to show uh, a weight closer to 3,000 pounds, but that is not always factoring in all the options you can get. So like the front bike carrier, for example, it's not going to have that in the weight in the book. So you're always going to check the unit. If you're cutting it close, like if you have a 3,500 pound tow limit on your vehicle, it's going to be a really important difference. If you're, if you're looking at a 3,000 pound unloaded weight or a 33 or 3,400 pound unloaded weight. You definitely want to leave some breathing room when it comes to your dry weight versus what your vehicle can tow. We like to see five to 100, 500 to 1,000 pound difference at least between the dry weight and what your vehicle can tow. All right, so the first thing we're gonna find, and this is a new standard in the GeoPros, is the 12 volt refrigerator. I think this is excellent because we're going from gas electric to 12 volt. Now this makes a lot of sense for Geo. Number one, you have the solar, you have the inverter, you have all these things that are enabling you to use 12 volt, take it off the grid, to have a fridge that runs off 12 volt, it's gonna get colder faster. It's actually about an hour to hour or two instead of six hours for gas electric. It's also going to be much easier to just run it when you're traveling. You just turn the fridge on and you don't have to think about it. Your battery's being charged by solar, your battery's being charged by your vehicle, and it is a low amp draw uh, on the battery. So what I've been told is that when the refrigerator is in the process of getting cold, it's using about five and a half amps. Once it gets down to temperature in a couple of hours, it actually goes all the way down to about 0.9 to 1.5 amps. So it's a very low energy um, refrigerator. I think it's awesome. It's probably just gonna be, you're gonna start seeing 12 volt refrigerators everywhere in the next couple of years. I'm pretty confident of that. They just get colder faster. You can get bigger refrigerators. So this is a four, 0.5 cubic foot fridge. You have a freezer now, actual designated freezer in your refrigerator, some shelving. And it's just a matter of turning it on and your dial right there. I got it off right now. That's real easy. And then for locking, you just lock it. Very simple. 
microwave on top. You can get the convection microwave as well, but we decided to just keep the regular microwave. We did get the option for the oven. So if you didn't have the oven, you just have a storage area. You'd have a cabinet with some storage space. And certainly you can still use that for storage space, but you can also cook. Three burner cooktop with the glass top. Another, another upgrade for the 2021.5. You have a larger kitchen sink, significantly larger than the geos that were built even two months ago. I actually just did a channel scan on it and it came up with, oh, I think about 38 different channels that it found. And that was just a quick scan. Also has a DVD player built in. So we're inside. Let's let, take a look at the new interiors. This is the lighter, actually not really lighter. It's, a, it's just a different tone. So it was that grayish white interior previously. Now we have that um, little bit of a brown, light, light brown, almost like a cream color, Newport Ash. And that's, a, that's an option in the other Rockwood lines. This is just standard interior in the Geo. You can see the floor standard these colors are gonna are just gonna be the standard colors there's not options in the geo for different interiors so you also have these roller shades in this model the table folds it's a long table it just has two legs that unfold and just go in front of the in front of the sofa there's no storage under the sofa but you do have some storage under the bed with this. And then some storage here. This is actually for clothes. You can see at the top we have a spot for hanging clothes. Okay. bathroom max air fan standard with the cover toilet in this room to sit your knees will not be hitting the door It's a Geo Pro, so you're going to have a bottle opener standard. All right, now I want to take you on the roof just to show you probably the, the most exciting upgrade on this model. Last year and all previous years that they were making Geo Pros, they had a 100 watt solar panel. This year they have upgraded to 190 watt standard solar. See, it's much larger than what you had before. Also, we have a new setup for the antenna. This is actually for, uh, this is a combination Wi-Fi, Ranger, antenna, radio antenna, digital antenna for the TV. Top of your 13.5 thousand BTU AC. And here's your max air vent. All right, so the slide room is now in. It's not a deep slide room, so it doesn't come very far. You can actually still easily get to the, the bed. No problem at all. Get to the refrigerator, of course, get to the bathroom. Doesn't block anything. Very, very easily you can drive down the road and use this camper just like it is right now. Certainly would have to have the table behind the sofa, but I think you would anyway for traveling. You definitely want to keep it back there. But this camper, the side room, does not impede you at all 
when you're traveling. So. When it's out, certainly you get the space. And that is worth a lot. Makes a big difference. I had a customer recently, they were between this model and the, and the FD with the Murphy bed. And really the, the difference was the slide because they have a large dog and that's gonna just give them the room they need. So yeah, 19 FPS, I mean, just a, just a great floor plan, great for two or three, because you do have the sofa that converts to another sleeping surface. We have two in stock right now, a lot on order. So please uh, check out our website, russosrv.com, or check us out in person. Hope to see you soon.